This is tutorial number 112, and it covers the contact constraint within Katia v5. To start off, open up a new product file, and what we're going to do is we're going to insert and bring in the parts that we need, and we're going to apply the contact constraint. So to start off, let's bring in these components. So let's click Insert, Existing Component, click the product, and let's bring in 112A, and then we'll bring in 112B. So Insert, Existing Component, Product, and 112B. We're going to do this one with positioning, so we'll just move it out to the side. And let's just drag this out. Click OK. So now we have both of our components in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use uh, the contact constraint. So what that does is to touch two surfaces, they're going to touch each other. So in the case of this square here, we're able to apply the contact constraint. And what we're going to do is we're going to constrain it in the, the X, Y, and Z planes. So we're going to need three different contact constraints to throw it in there. So let's start doing this. So let's click contact. Let's click this face here. And we'll click this face here. Let's update it. And if you look on the side, they're now in line with each other. So now we're going to add two more. So click contact click this face here, click this face here, and let's do another one. Click this face here, and this face here. Click update, and now it's thrown in there. So now this part's fully constrained, and it's going to be locked into this position that we have here. So in this case, how you have uh, like the square peg going into a square hole, we have to kind of uh, constrain it in all the directions. Now, if we wanted this to go back and forth, we'd only need two. So we'd have to do it on this plane here and this plane here. So going up and down and going side to side. So again, with the contact constraint, all you have to do is click uh, two different faces and you're able to bring them into contact with one another. And being within contact is that they're both on the same plane. So when you're constraining it, like the first one we did, the square was still out here, but it's still a contact in the same plane as the face there. And that concludes our tutorial on the contact constraint within CATIA v5.